Hi friends, welcome. Wow, we're almost at the end of the month. I had a friend who did something wrong and I had to report my friend to the teacher. Would you do the same thing? Reporting your friend is the right thing to do. Let us learn to do the right things in our lives. Okay, let's rise up for a time of dance and thanksgiving. But before that, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this lovely day. I thank you for the beautiful boys and girls. I pray that we may have a wonderful service. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Enjoy!
Welcome today, and we have a quick challenge. When I say sit, you sit, stand, you stand, and jump, you jump, all right? So sit, this is the position, all right? Stand, jump. Wow, nice, ready? Sit, stand, jump. Stand, oh, I got you, all right? Sit, oh, I got you again. And stand, good, stand, I got you again, ay, ay, ay. And today we're going to have tons of fun. And let us, have you ever been in a matatu and the driver was driving so fast and you know you should not be going so fast? What do you do? Do you stand and tell the driver, stop, you're going too fast? Or you are afraid he'll throw you out? Do you know what I did? This guy was going fast, 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 fast. And I was like, should I tell him? Should I not? I started to pray. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Give us a wonderful lesson and help us to be courageous. In Jesus' name we pray. Welcome. Wow, boys and girls, did you see that activity? Sit, jump, stand. That is it. We are standing up for what is right because we are confronting the wrongdoings of others. Right, boys and girls? So, Teacher Ricky showed us a very exciting activity whereby we saw how we ought to always stand up. Now, boys and girls, we're going to go into a word in 2 Chronicles chapter 26. And I'm going to read from verse 17. And basically, this story is about King Uzziah, who was a mighty and a powerful king in his time. And boys and girls, because of his power and his arrogance, he felt that he could do the work of the priests. And in this time, priests were people who had been consecrated and set apart to do the duty of offering their sacrifices in the temple. But this king Uzziah felt, now I am the king in this kingdom. I can do whatever I want. But boy, was he wrong. Now, boys and girls, verse 17 says of 2 Chronicles chapter 26, Azariah the priest with 80 other courageous priests of the Lord followed him in. They confronted him and said, it is not right for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord. That is for the priests, the descendants of Aaron, who have been consecrated to burn incense. Leave the sanctuary, for you have been unfaithful, and you will not be honored by the Lord God. Today, what are we learning about, boys and girls? Confronting what is wrong and standing up for what is right. So Azariah and the 80 priests are the ones who had been consecrated to do this work of offering the incense. But King Uzziah felt like he could do it. And now Azariah in all boldness, along with the 80 priests, went in and told him, boss, you're doing the wrong thing. How many times do we have maybe noisemakers in class and we're like, guys, we need to be revising. Or people are coping in exams. Yeah, and you ought to be telling them, guys, this is not the right thing to, to be doing right now. And here's the thing, boys and girls, I'm going to show you in the next part of that story how God supports us when we stand up for what is right. After Azariah and the 80 priests told King Uzziah that what he was doing was wrong, imagine the king was struck with leprosy. A whole king, his whole body. And you know what used to happen in those days? If you happen to get leprosy, you are banished from the kingdom. Imagine a king being sent away from his own kingdom. He had to now go away and stay away from all the other people in the kingdom for the rest of his life. So boys and girls, every time you stand up for the right thing, God supports you. Right, boys and girls? God supports you. And remember, it is for God to judge but ours is to encourage people to do the right thing. Now, boys and girls, like we saw even in the courage factor for this month, did you see girls stand up? Yeah? When she called out her friend on what she was watching on her phone and told her, hey, what are those videos you're watching? We need to watch those things that are pure, 
and are of godly character. Now, boys and girls, let's go right to our memory verse. Hi, friends. My name is Tracy. I'm going to be doing the memory verse for today. The memory verse for today comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 15. And it says, if your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. Let's say it again. Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. And it says, if your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. Well done. Wow. Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. If your brother or your sister commits a sin, correct them. Just the two of you. Don't call people a gang of people. At Check even your home say I'm a No. It is to call the person. Just the two of you. Correct them in love, right? Because we don't want people to get offended. We need to gently correct people in love yeah so don't shout at anybody in school or try to you know um howl them down or trying to get people to be against them no 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 that scripture tells us that if we do it gently and they hear us then we will win them over and that's what we need to do as believers we need to win others over now boys and girls it's time to give get mommy and daddy a sister, a brother, and the details are on your screen. Now, boys and girls, hasn't today been an amazing lesson? And a challenging one, of course, because when I think of Azaria, man, it's not easy to face the king who can easily tell you, pick your things and leave my kingdom. Yeah? But just the grace they had, him and the 80 priests, to tell the king, you know what? What you're doing is wrong. And we're going to pray now that for each of us, God will give us that grace. That in whatever we do in our daily lives, that we will be able to be courageous and to confront wrong. Yeah, when something is wrong, we must call it wrong. Right, boys and girls? So let's pray together. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for today's lesson. Thank you that you are teaching us to stand up for what is right. And you're teaching us to confront that which is wrong. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to do this because it is not by our own power, but it is by your spirit that gives us the boldness to do so. So we thank you, Jesus, that you will be with us. You will help us to correct sin with a, in a good and gentle manner. Thank you, Lord, for today. We bless you. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Remember, boys and girls, have a week of standing up for what is right. God bless you. Have a fantastic week. Bye.